Assalamualaikum and hi guys. In this video, I'll share with you how to install Octolabs and record the time-lapse video. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This is a continuation video of control and monitor your Ender 3v2 3D printer using Octoprint on Raspberry Pi. And now we will proceed to install the Octolabs. We will not use this time lapse, but we will install the Octolabs plugin. Go to the plugin manager, scroll down and click on the get more button. Search for Octolabs. We will install version 0.4.1. Click install. The installation process will take around 3 to 5 minutes. When it's done, we need to restart the Octoprint. Now you can see Octolabs here. There is a new Octolabs tab next to the time lapse. We will update it to the newest version by clicking on the Update Now button. Okay, now we can set up the Octolabs. I'm using the Pi camera and I choose this webcam. Next, we need to add our printer. Click on this Add button. Mine is Ender 3 V2 but it is not on the list. So I just choose Ender 3 Pro. It's okay if your printer is not here. Later, we will adjust it to our 3D printer. So change the name here. Then enable this customized profile. I'm using Cura 4.8, so I choose this Cura 4.2 and above. Now we need to open our Cura so that we can fill in all the needed information here. For the Z-Hope, I will not enable it, so I just put any number here so that we can proceed to the next step. Insert the printer volume here, mine is just the same as this. The extruder is also same, just one extruder. And I didn't change this part, and now we can save this. For the stabilization, I choose the extruder to be on the center right. For the trigger, I choose smart with high quality. For the video output, I choose 60 fps. Click on this button to customize the video output. Enable the customize profile. Hmm, 2 seconds is good for the pre-roll but I want 3 seconds for the post-roll and save the setting. Now we will load and print the file. Just accept and continue. We need to wait for the temperature to reach the target temperature. And now let's see how it moves. This is how I set up the Pi camera. Now 
When the camera turns green, the extruder moves to the center right and the Pi camera captures the image. Now we have finished the printing process, so let's see the output video. Click here and download the file. I think I need to improve my stringing so that the video output will be good. Okay, that's all for today. I'm Suat from Cytron Technologies. Thank you for watching.